My name is Liam Colley, I'm a PhD researcher here at the Department of Sport, Health and Exercise Sciences. What we're actually doing here is we're doing a um, functional measure of vessel health which is called flow mediated dilation. And it's important to know how well the vessel dilates because um, the endothelium um, which releases these um, vasoactive factors which cause vasodilation is really important so this gives an indication of how well the endothelium functions. Now if, you, if the endothelium doesn't function very well then that can um, lead to um, dysfunctional um, microvasculature, it can then lead to other complications in the cardiovascular system and then more importantly for what um, my research is looking at in terms of the kidney kidney health and disease. What, what we actually do is, um, once we've located the brachial artery on the ultrasound machine, um, we attach a blood pressure cuff around the wrist. Um, after we've got a baseline measure of the diameter of the vessel, we then inflate the cuff to a super systolic pressure so that it will cause a uh, constriction of, prevent blood flow basically from reaching the hand. That blood pressure cuff will then be held on the wrist for around five minutes and then um, once that five minutes is up, we'll then release the blood pressure cuff. What this does is increase blood flow through the brachial artery um, and stimulate um, the endothelial cells to release um, vasoactive factors um, such as nitric oxide, which cause vasodilation, so basically make the artery grow bigger in size to accommodate for that increase in blood flow. And, and basically what we do after that is we measure the peak diameter that, that um, the brachial artery achieves once that um, blood pressure cuff has um, been deflated. And then you can do a percentage increase compared to baseline. Now what that percentage increase compared to baseline tells us about is it tells us how well um, the brachial artery dilates um, in response to stimulus.